Hello everyone. In this video, we are diving into one of the most important aspect of managing an AWS EKS cluster, which is EKS access patterns. We have seen in previous video how to create an EKS cluster using different modes, but now we will explore how users can access your EKS cluster, what access options are available, and how you can securely manage access for different users. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how IAM users and IAM roles interact with EKS and how to grant the right level of access to your developers and admins. So let's get started. Before we get into the configurations, let's first understand how EKS access work. So in this diagram, you can see when you create an EKS cluster, only the user who created it has admin access by default. So this is the user, I am user who created the EKS cluster and they have the default policy, which is Amazon EKS cluster admin policy. And they can access the EKS cluster using console and using CLI as well. Other IAM users, they can only see that there is an EKS cluster through AWS console, but they won't be able to access it. Any resource, any pod configurations, they won't be able to see it. So now let's see how does that look like on the AWS console. So now we will log into our AWS account with any random user and we'll see what we can see it on that EKS cluster. So here you can see that I have created this cluster and if I open this, here you will see that your current IAM principal does not have access to the Kubernetes object. So you won't be able to see anything, any resources or any details because this user does not have permissions. And where does that access is configured? So if you click on this access, here you can see that when you create an EKS cluster using auto mode, it is automatically creating this IAM principles. So all these users and the roles have access, but nobody else can access it. So this is our default user who created this cluster. And here you can see that it has this access policy defined. We will get into this more details what all these access policies are. But this is I wanted to show you as soon as you create the EKS cluster, this is how it look like. Now, I just wanted to show you if I log in with different user, how that would look like. So recently, AWS has uh, launched this turn on multi session support, which is very good to test these kind of setup so that we can log into different users. So let me just log into another user add session. So now I am logged in as developer using multi session. And now if I go to Elastic Kubernetes service, here you can see that I can click on this and I'm not getting that uh, access permission issues. So we can access the Kubernetes cluster using developer user because this is the first user who created the EKS cluster. And because of that reason, you are not seeing that error that this user does not have access to the Kubernetes objects. So now we will learn how we can provide access to the EKS cluster to different admins, DevOps people and the developers. Now we will talk about EKS access entries. So EKS access entries are the recommended way to provide access to the EKS cluster to different users. And this is the newest and the recommended way by AWS to provide access to your EKS cluster. In this diagram, you can see that you have an EKS cluster and then there is an option EKS access entries. And there are two options how you can provide access to the cluster. You can do it through IAM users or through IAM roles. 
and then you assign the permissions like access policies which are actually the kubernetes permissions that you assign them directly for the access with both approaches we will see both of them one by one wanted just wanted to tell you one thing for the im users so when it comes to im users you have to add multiple users right if you have 20 developers or 20 admins you have to do it one by one so in my opinion which is not the best practice and even the not reliable solution we want something that your eks cluster is a setup and at the time of setup only you have provided the access to everyone and now based on the im roles groups we will see the concept of im groups they will automatically get added to the eks cluster and they will automatically get removed from that 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 is kind of functionality that we wanted here so let's explore both of them one by one so here you can see in the access tab there is an im access entries and these are the three that was already created you have an option to create an access entry and here you can see for the im principal you have two options you can provide the im role or the user so first we will test it with the devops user the im user so we have a user called devops so here you can see that it is coming up and you can provide the access so it is we are providing the standard access and click on next and this is where the access policy comes so this is all it provides you the details like which policy you want to attach to this user so i wanted the cluster admin policy in the aws documentation you have details for each of the policy like what permissions they provide and the access scope so here you can see that you have both options like the cluster level access and only provide access to the Kubernetes namespace. But in this example, we are going with the cluster and click on next and then click on create. So this is one of the bug in AWS right now. As soon as you do that, it just don't work. I have to do it again. So I'm just adding that here. So now you can see that access policy is added. And I have added it for this user DevOps. So let me now log in with the new user, which is my DevOps. So let me just add the session. So now you, what do you think? Now you should, you should not see that error. So here you can see that uh, that error is gone because we have provided the access to this particular user. But as I mentioned that providing the access in this way for each user individually is is not a efficient way to provide access because you never know who users which new users are coming going and then deleting these stuff so you that is not a good practice but with this approach that user will have access from the cli also like that we will see in the next slide and they will have the all access to the AWS console also. So they can see everything from here also. So now you have seen user. Now the next step is I am role. So you can actually create the I am role and then provide the access for this Kubernetes cluster. So let me go to the I am role. So let me just go there. How does that look like? So if you go to role so basically before we go to role i just wanted to say what is the how effectively we can provide the access so i would say you'll create the admin group so you can actually use the concept of group here so i have created this eks admin group and then you can just add who all users you wanted to add here right and in the permission you have this assume policy so the role that we are creating, so you are just assigning that this particular group can assume that role. That is the only configuration at the group level that you have to do. And now if I go to role and go to that EKS admin role, 
so first you need to give the permission right now i have just provided the admin permissions but you can be selective uh, based on the requirement and in the trust relationship you are just saying anyone can assume this role correct so anyone can assume this role and then you have put in this user group that this user group can actually assume this role so by by default no user has access to assume the role so if i go to these users you can see that i have not provided any permissions to them this is all they are getting from the group but yes if you have any user who has directly like admin permission then they can directly assume the role it doesn't matter if they are in the group or not but generally we just don't provide any user as an admin access and we generally go with the group and in the group you provide what kind of permission this particular group has so now we have created the i am role so we will add it a here so you go to create access entry you will select your role eks admin role type standard click on next you will select the policy cluster admin policy and access scope is cluster click on next and click on create this is a bug in the access policy that i have to do it again so i'll just add it here so now if you go to your access entries you can see that i have added this role also so here i have created the profile so i am just using this so export aws profile equals to admin and you can check it aws sts get caller identity so here you can see that i am using admin user right now so now i am trying to assume that role this is the command to assume the role where you are providing aws sts assume role your arn role session name and then that's it and click on this so here you can see that you are able to assume that role because we have given that permission to that i am group so now to show you the different aspect what i will do i will go to this user group and i will remove this user so let me just remove it so now i have removed that user to from that group and that user does not have any permission so it will not be able to assume the role just test it now so i am logged in as the user and now i will just get this command here in the new session and just copy it and here you can see that i am getting that this user is not authorized to perform assume role on this role because this user does not have access and here because we are on this session i wanted to show you once you assume the role then you have to these all your temporary credentials that you have to export it in your session and after that you should be able to access your kubernetes cluster using kubectl command so okay so now you can see that i have export all these temporary credentials so that i can authenticate with the kubernetes cluster and now if i just run this aws if you have not uh, authenticate with the kubernetes cluster just run this command aws eks region just to have your cube config credentials and now you can just run this all those stuff here you can see that i can do all those things and if i try to do the same thing here actually i am not even able to assume the role so it will not work and even if i try this so here you can see you will get this error you must be logged into the server because we don't have access so now 
to conclude this this is how we have set up the access patterns for our eks cluster where we have first eks user who can access the kubernetes cluster without doing anything admin users like directly adding the im users they have all cli and console and they can also access to the kubernetes cluster they don't have to assume any role just their credentials will work directly but that is not a good practice because you have to add users manually one by one to the eks cluster and the third approach that we have seen the im role so we created the eks admin role and created one group eks admin group who has access to assume this role so all the users who are part of that admin group can access the kubernetes cluster using cli so that is the preferred and the recommended way to provide access to all your im users so based on the requirement you can create different different roles like developers admin roles read only roles based on the requirement and provide access to the users i hope you like my video thank you